power strokes from the 7.3 to the 6.7. I filmed them all, seen them all, and drove them all. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what mods you can actually install on these trucks to get them to double their horsepower. The special thing about this video is we're gonna try to actually double the horsepower on each year power stroke with only three modifications to it. So we're gonna first start out with the 7.3 power stroke. And this power stroke I personally owned for about six years and I daily drove it. It was my first truck ever. It was, and I've modded this one out myself. I've done a ton of stuff to it. Arguably one of the most reliable power strokes, but it lacks extremely when it comes to power. I'll tell you guys today what three mods you can do. Quick, good, easy mod. Get this truck up to 440 horsepower easy. That first mod that you're gonna do, now since the 7.3 doesn't have a DPF or a EGR, it makes it one of the most reliable trucks because that's the reason that diesels go out anyways. I would do, go ahead and do a tune and specifically the hydro chip tuner. Now I have seen the TS six position chip tuners and I've seen the hydro chip tuners and me personally, I just like the digital display of the hydro chip versus the TS six position chip. Now I got sent tunes from the factory that they made it at and I got all the way up to 150 horsepower with those tunes. But once I upgraded my injectors, which is gonna be our next one, I'll tell you guys about that here in a second. But once I upgraded my injectors from the single or from the split shot to the single shot, that is when I had to change my tuning a little bit. So I went from getting 15 tunes down to having six tunes that were custom tuned by Jelly Built. And those were like the badass tunes. Those are like the tunes that I really, really wanted. Uh, we put them on there and it absolutely hauled ass after those injectors on it. That is why what I'm gonna lead into on the next one. And the next mod is going to be injectors. Now the 7.3 is definitely one of the cheapest trucks to mod out just because all the parts are so cheap. So like new injectors, that's gonna run you about 1300 bucks versus if you were to do it on like a 6.0 or a 6.7, new injectors would run you easily two to three grand. Definitely a little bit cheaper in price. Definitely the one I would recommend doing on the 7.3 is the 180 by 30 cc injectors. That's what I put on my truck and I got about 100 to 200 horsepower with those. Did when I custom tuned it, I got about another 100 horsepower with those tunes. So about 200 to 250 horsepower just with the injectors and the tune on it. The next one that I would say to do guys is a new turbo, but I know a lot of people are not really flush with cash and a new turbo is gonna run you easily somewhere between two and three grand. So what I recommend you guys do is an actual cold air intake and this will allow for better airflow and if you're gonna put more bigger injectors in you're gonna be shooting a lot more fuel in which means that you're gonna need to put a lot more air into the actual turbo if you have the money upgrade your turbo you can do a stage two or just an upgrade to stage one that's what I would recommend you do but if you don't have the money a cold air intake would be what I, I put on mine so I had an SMB cold air intake on my 7.3 And that's just what I saw work the best. Really got the sound that I was looking for. Not necessarily the power, but the sound was just amazing. And it did definitely, you could tell the difference in airflow. So with all those combined, I believe at the end of my 7.3's life, I had, I was getting about 425 horsepower to the wheels. Calculated it out as once I was done with everything on my 7.3. So that's about what you guys can expect to get on your 7.3 after you put those three mods on it. Once again, guys, we did start out at 225 with the horsepower power is out of the factory for the 7.3. You do about double it, but if you really want to double it, throwing a new turbo in there is going to be where you're going to be able to get to that 500 range. Now, once again, guys, you kind of lose your reliability aspect when you do that. Fortunately, I wasn't able to actually dyno it, but I believe I was getting about 400 to 425 to the wheels at the very end of its life. On to the 6.0. I have filmed numerous videos with this truck, and I've also driven this around, truck around for a little bit. I've never actually personally owned a 6.0, but I have done a lot of videos with these trucks and I love them a lot. They really, once you hit that pedal, you're going. That's how it rolls with a 6.0. Uh, once you open up that throttle, you're pretty much wide open and ready to run. The mods I would do on this truck, just like every other truck, I would definitely do a tune. Um, the TS Plus Livewire tune, I've seen this on a couple 6.0s and they are great for tuning. But he recommends these and if you're gonna get custom tunes, uh, just find a good company around your area that does custom tuning and you can get those tunes on the actual TS Livewire. Get some good custom tunes and guys, I can tell you right now you're looking at about 
125 horsepower gain with the, those tunes on it and the tuner. Out of the factory, the 6.0 makes about 300 horsepower. It's gonna put you at about 400 horsepower just with the tune on it. Now the next one, guys, is going to be just a light delete. Now the DPF is not a very big DPF on these 6.0s, so deleting it kind of just gets rid of that mask that it has over the exhaust flow. Deleting it, EGR delete, that's gonna allow for better exhaust flow and for better airflow, and you're gonna be able to get a little bit more power out of that. I believe that'll put you at about 425 horsepower. Now, if you really wanted to push the limits on these 6.0s and go the extra mile, upgraded turbo is a really good one to, one to start with. Uh, the KC turbos make some great turbos. You got a great stage two turbo that you guys can put in on your 6.0. So yes, throwing in a stage two turbo is going to put you easily at that 550 range. Now, if you wanted to go really wild with your 6.0 and just absolutely eat, then you could definitely put some upgraded injectors in there and that would absolutely just blow your truck out. I, it would probably, you'd probably start blowing some stuff up at that point. If you put some stage two injectors and a stage two turbo in, you're looking at probably 685 to 700 horsepower. The 6.4 power stroke. I haven't really done much with this truck and I've never driven a, driven a 6.4 before, so I have really no advice on the mod. But if I were to do mods on this, I know that a tune, delete, and a turbo will get you really far, far with this truck. They just produce so much power and they're super, if you're looking for power, you're looking to haul ass, 6.4, you put a tune on that bitch and you're fucking you're pretty much ready to roll but when it does come to mods that is kind of just the baseline that i would do to every truck to really get it to double that horsepower the next one and my favorite one guys is the 6.7 power stroke it is the truck i am in right now and the one i have had a pleasure of driving for quite some time right now the first mod that i would put on this 6.7 power stroke is a tune and a delete that's kind of a one combo mod just because if you do do a delete on this truck you're going to get so many codes that you're not going to be able to go over 50 miles an hour so you if you're going to do mods on this you need to do a tune and a delete all at once and that's going to give you a lot of power right there i've actually seen a couple videos with just a tune and a delete on them and they dynoed these trucks and they're literally pushing 625 horsepower just after a tune and a delete so out of the factory this thing gets about 440 if you want to get it to that 880 that i told you guys in the title of this video you're going to want to do a tune a delete and a the easy link tuner is what i have on the way guys so i am doing a tune and a delete on this truck and i have an easy link tuner that is on the way and that's what i would recommend you guys use i know they have a couple 200 horsepower tunes now you don't actually get that to the wheels that's going to be engine uh, horsepower guess that you're going to get about 100 to the wheels if you do a 200 horse tune if you want to really get it to that 880 horsepower throwing a compound turbo in it would be very beneficial i literally just filmed a compound turbo the other day and they sound so freaking good cost though guys cost is going to be a little bit different a compound turbo is going to run you like six thousand dollars key enough to actually film this and oh my gosh was there a lot of power compound turbo kit on it you're going to be going from about so after the delete and tune you're going to be at about 625 horsepower if you slap a compound turbo on it i'm easily saying you get about another 100 to 200 horsepower with that turbo so you're looking at about 700 horsepower if you really want to push it and get to that 800 to 900 horsepower throwing some stage two injectors in there is going to be a that's going to be a huge upgrade and that would be like the third kind of mod i would do is to throw injectors in it i mean you're pushing easily 825 if you put injectors in it that is how you double your horsepower for every year power stroke if you want to buy power stroke central merch and the honking kill switch it'll be linked down below oh if you want to watch more it'll be more up here or down there peace out